So I just got off the bus, rode that bus for about two miles, just to shorten my trip. But now I'm crossing the Skagit River, and as I understand it, on the other side of this bridge is the city of Burlington. So you're gonna see what's over there. Still only three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see what we can do for the rest of the day. Obvious thing to mention, if you look on both sides of the river, you can see levees. So Mount Vernon, Burlington, uh, these areas are in low-lying floodplains. And if you look that direction, you can see the foothills of the Cascades. Those can get full of a lot of snow and that snow can melt. So this river can get very high and it's uh, wide right now, but it can get a lot higher. So yes, this isn't a floodplain and there is protection for that. So this video might not be in the order that some people would desire. So just based on where I started and got off, um, I'm just uh, showing the Strode side of Burlington. In fact, I'm not sure if this is in Burlington city limits, um, but this is north of the Skagit. Um, and uh, I will be getting to the old town, but before I do want to show, yeah, I'm gonna walk along this for a mile or two. One thing about sprawl like this is it's so prevalent, but it's also not all as successful. So that is a big K and it looks from here that that is inactive, um, which I think is the case with most Kmarts. And that's called Cascade Plaza. And near here, there is a mall near Cascade Mall. So for a while in the 90s, kids, you might have a hard time believing this. There were malls with satellite malls. Um, and now a lot of those have closed down. Anyway, so my next step is to see that mall and that's gonna go in its own video. But yeah, also all of this is going on longer than I thought it would. So this is Cascade Mall. I'm gonna go in there, make a uh, mall dead or alive video. And then after that, I'm going to continue down this road to the actual, you know, historical center of the city of Burlington. So we did just conclude our trip to that mall, which is actually empty and dead. And now we're going to see a little bit more of this retail side of Burlington, then see the city. Then I'm going to head home. I've been walking around for a while now. So I left the highway and this is the uh, old shopping district downtown of Burlington. So I'm going to check this out. Unfortunately, by this time, I'm tired enough that I maybe won't enjoy it as much as I would in the morning. I'm a little bit grumpy. I hope that doesn't skewer my perceptions of Burlington too much. I found this nice little park, Main Street in Burlington, a little amphitheater. I'm resting here for a moment. I've walked, I don't know, um, maybe more than 10 miles today. Um, so I am feeling kind of tired and it's only four o'clock. It's also a weekend, which means the bus service, which is in general pretty good, does run shorter hours. So, um, you know, I can't hang around here forever if I want to get back to my hotel. Now I could walk back there, but that would be another, I don't know, four or five miles at this point. So I'm just taking a moment to rest here. There's some railroad tracks here through downtown. From what I can tell, um, this is an area where the main north-south rail line that carries the Cascades tracks, for example, which has probably been there for a long time, splits off to go to the east. And so I imagine that like a lot of um, towns through the Cascades in Washington, Oregon, this was at one time a um, depot town for lumber camps to the east, and that's why this railroad exists. I don't know how much this railroad is used uh, currently. It's, it, for example, it's not used for um, any passenger rail services that I know of, but it might still be used for other things. And also like in a lot of places where that's the case, um, you know, the resource economy has moved on. This town's no more residential, a lot of the commercial area. So there's kind of a separation between this old um, downtown and the commercial areas that we saw a little while ago. And is often the case with downtowns in the Pacific Northwest, old downtown areas that have been, you know, revived. 
A lot of that is thanks to uh, Latino population, immigrant population, um, and businesses like this. So this is a brief view of Burlington. Um, and this is just part of traveling is that sometimes you see facets. And when I'm showing you this facets, I showed you basically, you know, a not very nice part of town. And then I'm just showing you very briefly what the downtown looks like. So that might not be a, a agreeable cross section, but part of traveling. So hopefully this has been informative. Hopefully the people of Burlington think I treated their fine town fairly enough and I would see more but yeah I'm getting pretty tired so I'm gonna head back home now um, and uh, there are more adventures tomorrow one final note um, all of the bus stops look at bench garbage can um, nice signage so the buses here are you know like I said most facilities here are very well kept not just in the center city but like along roads like this and if you look in the distance, you can see the bus is here and it's here when it's supposed to be here. And it's, yeah, the buses run on time, very efficient. So I approve of that. And now it's time to put this down because I need to get my pass out and get on this bus.